Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. 705 days less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Yesterday, Ukrainians marked the anniversary of the Battle of Krute, when in 1918 forces of the independent Ukraine People's Republic fought against overwhelming forces of communist Russia, trying to stop their advancement at Kyiv. In a fierce battle, Ukrainian troops managed to keep enemy from advancing for a while. The president paid his respects to those who fell in this battle protecting Ukraine. General Valery Zaluzhny, commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, said that in 1918 the Ukrainian People's Republic Army fulfilled its combat duty on the field near Kruti. It stopped the Russian invaders marching towards Kyiv. 106 years have passed and today Ukrainian soldiers are once again fighting Russian invaders along the entire front line and proving every minute that Ukraine was, is and will be free and independent. Yesterday evening, anonymous telegram channels and slightly later many media started spreading a rumor that President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky fired Commander-in-Chief Popular General Valery Zaluzhny. Later, President Spokesperson Sergei Nikiforov denied this information reports in Tarfax Ukraine. He said that no such decree had been signed and that Zelensky didn't fire Zaluzhny. The information had quite slow official reaction about such an important matter caused public outcry. Some social media users blamed Ukrainian media who released information based on sources, knowing that in the country at war such matters are of utter importance. Others blamed officials for reacting to this rumor only after an hour or so after it started spreading. Some even suggested that it might have been a test of a public reaction to the idea of firing Valery Zaluzhny, which was initiated by the president's office, who spread the rumor in the first place. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky gave an interview to the German media IRD. In an interview, he expressed hope that the United States will not stop helping Ukraine, otherwise Europe will not be able to cope alone. NATO will weaken and this will threaten to shake the world, reports Ukrainska Pravda. The head of state explained that Europe alone will not be able to cope at the level at which Ukraine has received support before, neither with weapons nor with finance. According to him, Europe will understand that this is a signal that if Ukraine falls and Putin moves forward, this is a signal from the US that Europe will be left alone to confront Russia. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky declined to directly answer the question of whether the war in Ukraine might end in 2024. However, he believes that this is not too late to stop Russia, thereby preventing the destruction of Ukraine and the outbreak of World War III. The journalist recalled Donald Trump's claim that if he wins the election, he would bring an end to the war in Ukraine in 24 hours. Zelensky responded by inviting him to Kyiv, saying that it would take him 24 minutes to explain to the American why this is impossible. But at the same time, quote, if his proposal or formula can really bring about peace in 24 hours, then I will be a very happy president, I'd be delighted. I know how many people we lose in one day, I know how much it costs. So I will be happy if someone shows me how to end the war in 24 hours." Unquote. We would really appreciate if you could recommend us to your friends and family, as well as share information on social media. This way more people would learn about the podcast and truth about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The president of Ukraine said that he expects military leadership to suggest a fair mobilization law that will include justice for conscripts and the digitalization of the military enlistment process. Volodymyr Zelensky said that those who are currently serving require fair rotations and general spirits of leave. Money alone cannot make up for insufficient leave. Although salaries are high, fairness in this regard is essential, according to the president. Zelensky also criticized the practice of representatives from territorial military enlistment offices going out on the streets to round up men who failed to report for enlistment, considering it undignified. The president emphasized that whilst Ukraine has a large army, everyone in the country is defending Europe and the rest of the world in their workplaces. 
Zelensky said that Ukrainians who have emigrated abroad should pay Ukrainian taxes and that men who left the country illegally should return. Quote, once again, the issue is not that we need every one of those men on the front lines, we have a large army, but about justice. These people should pay taxes. Unquote. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, we are a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.